Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, The Glamaholic Revel. My name is Malika Nalab and after a really long break, I'm back with another interesting makeup look. That is a winter fall inspired makeup look. I have implemented a lot of browns, orange and a little bit of white in my whole look that shows a transition phase between both the seasons. And so, without any further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Starting with some winter skincare and for this I'm using Monsub Pearl Revitalizing and Brightening 3D Sheet Mask. The best thing about this mask is that it has small gaps for your ears to hold your mask so that it stays on place and also cover your neck area. So once the mask is on place, we'll set a timer of 15 minutes and then we'll take it off. The best thing about this mask is that it comes with a small amount of essence which you can massage on your face after you have removed the mask so that your skin remains hydrated. I usually prefer moisturizing sheet masks because my skin tend to get really flaky and really dry during winters. After massaging for 2-3 to three minutes, wash your face with cold water. Next I am using Fabia Organic Aloe Vera Gel to moisturize my face and neck area. Again it's very important for you to moisturize your skin after any skin treatment. Now in order to achieve that perfect base, I'm using Europe Girl Paris Primer. I'm basically pressing the primer on the areas around my T-zone and lightly applying it all over the face. Next I'm using Europe Girl Paris Match Master Concealer in shade 4.0. This is actually a pan stick and pretty much matches my shade so I'm using it as a foundation. And with the help of a dampened beauty blender, I'm taking my time to blend it all over. Also since this is a sheer finished product, I'm putting a few more layers of it on the areas I feel it's required. Especially around my lips, under my eyes, on sides of my nose where I have a little more pigmentation. And once the base is done, we'll move forward to highlighting and contouring the face. For that, I'm using NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo in shade Cinnamon and Peach. I'm basically using shade Peach to brighten up my under eyes, highlight the bridge of my nose, my forehead and my chin. And here I'm using the same beauty blender that I use for the foundation because for some reasons I'm not able to find the smaller ones. But you can definitely choose a different beauty blender for blending your concealer, your contour and your foundation. Next I am using shade cinnamon on my cheekbones, on my forehead, sides of my nose and also for sharpening my jawline. Now apart from adding dimension and sharpening features, contouring also helps in creating an illusion that you have a smaller forehead. This is a specialty for people like me who have big forehead. For my nose, I'm using a smaller brush for blending and also make sure that it does not go over the bridge of my nose. To avoid any creasing, I'm setting and baking my makeup using Pond's Magic Talc. I'm basically putting a small amount under my eyes and on my jawline and leaving it for a few minutes. During winters, I do not feel like using heavy loose powders as they can be very drying on your skin, so I use very light powders. And while my makeup is baking, I'm using these two shades from Miss Claire Eyebrow Cake to draw my eyebrows. Following the usual process, I'm outlining with a lighter shade, avoiding the inner corners of my eyebrows and filling up the spaces using a darker shade to make my eyebrows look fuller. And with the help of an angled flat brush, I'm lightly drawing few strands of hair. This gives a very natural finish to it. And finally combing everything with the help of a spoolie to even out everything. Next I'm using NYX SD Studio Photogenic Concealer in shade CW06.3 to clean up my eyebrows. This will help your eyebrows to look more cleaned up, more crisp and also remove any fallouts around the eyebrows. Now blend everything with the help of the brush and later with the help of a sponge so that it mixes up with the foundation. Be. 
For creating my eyeshadow base, I'm using Europol Paris Concealer in shade Ginger. I'm using this shade because this is like two to three shades lighter than my actual skin tone, and this can help my eyeshadow to pop up really nice. Once your concealer is on place, do not forget to set it with a loose powder. I'm again using Pond's Magic Talc for it. Starting with Cara Beauty ES02 palette, I'm using this shade as my transition shade. With the help of a fluffy brush, I'm basically blending it in a wiping motion. Using a transition color will make sure that the colors coming afterwards will blend nicely with each other. Next, I'm using an adhesive tape and sticking it in an angled manner from the outer corner of my eyes till the eyebrows. This technique will help us to get that perfect angled eyeshadow look. Next, I'm depositing this bright orange shade above my crease area and blending it nicely. This shade gives very fall autumn kind of vibe and further to add a little dimension, I'm adding the shimmery brown shade on the outer corner of my lids. Again using the shade Ginger from Europe Gold Paris Concealer to cut my crease. Now this is a very crucial step so take your time while doing this. I'm using a flat angled brush to draw it and basically covering two thirds of my lids. And once the concealer is on place again set it with some loose powder. Next I'm using this shimmery shade from Huda Beauty Gem Obsessions palette. Once applied this shade gives halo effect on the eyelids and looks really pretty. And finally using a flat brush to deposit the colors on corners where my fingers cannot reach. Moving forward I'm using Maybelline Hyper Glossy Liquid Eyeliner on the outer corner of my lids. Now drawing it inwards till it reaches the midpoint of the eyelids. Now make sure you do not go all the way around the crease and keep a small gap between them. And for filling in the wings, I'm using my favorite Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Liner. And finally smudging it with the halo base with the help of a small pencil brush. Now taking this black eyeshadow on the same pencil brush and even out everything. I'm basically using the shimmery white eyeshadow and blending it with the black eyeshadow to create this transition effect. And I'm basically repeating the same process on the other eye as well. Starting with the gel eyeliner, mixing it with the black eyeshadow and finally blending it with the shimmery white eyeshadow. And to finish the eyeshadow look, I'm adding this liquid crystal eyeliner from Popfeel. I got a set of this from Amazon and these stick to the eyelids really well. And here I am basically outlining my cut crease area. Now once I remove the adhesive tape, you can see how crisp and clean my binged eyeshadow is looking. Further, I'm using pack tapered lashes in number 52 to complement my whole eye makeup. These are very light lashes and does not overlap or hide your eye makeup. Next I am using Color Bar Lash Illusion Mascara Duo. This has lengthening and voluminizing mascaras on both the ends and gives decent amount of volume to the lashes. I am also covering my lower lashes and it gives more like a doll like finish to the whole look. And before I can put any makeup under my eyes, I am removing the loose powder from under my eyes and also from my jawline. I am using the same vibrant orange shade which I used in the beginning under my lower lash line. I am basically keeping it concentrated on the outer corners of my eyes. For contouring, I am using pack contour refill in shade 18. I am basically contouring my cheeks, bronzing the extreme corners of my face, sharpening my jawline and bronzing my forehead as well because it gives that brownish fall hue to the face. Next, I am using this bright shade from Makeup Revolution Shimmer Brick in Rose Gold. I'm basically highlighting the higher points of my cheekbones, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow and also my brow bone with the help of a smaller flat brush. And finally highlighting the inner corners of my eyes. 
For lips, I'm using this nude brown shade from Color Essence. This is a number 52. This is a subtle creamy finish lipstick which can go nicely with any bright look. Now if you're not a really big fan of creamy lipsticks, you can always add a small amount of translucent powder to it. This will make it matte and also make sure that it lasts for longer duration. And finally to seal the whole makeup, I'm using Europe Gold Perfect Day Makeup Fixer. This will ensure that your makeup stays on point even after hours. And here is the final winter fall makeup look. I hope you liked the video. If so, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you.